What's up everybody and welcome back to Cat's Coils. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the pros and cons of having DIY micro locks. Now these are my personal pros and cons. These are my opinions. I have DIY micro locks. I started my locks on October the 1st, 2019, and I am getting ready to celebrate my six month DIY micro locks journey on the 1st of April. Also, I am getting ready to celebrate my birthday. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm so excited because it is my birthday weekend. I'm just thankful that I am able to uh, just celebrate another year on this earth. And I am so thankful that all of my loved ones are, are okay and all, all of my loved ones are safe and things like that. Before we get started with this video, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you are always updated every time I post a new video. If you are new to my channel, please go back and check out all of my previous videos because I show you guys my journey from the beginning. I also have a, um, several videos from when I was a loose natural, so you can kind of get an idea of the texture of my hair before I started my DIY micro relax journey. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with my personal pros and cons of having DIY micro lax. First, I wanna start with the cons because I just wanna let you guys know that with any hairstyle, there are going to be pros and there are going to be cons. It just depends on whether you decide if the pros outweigh the cons or if the cons outweigh the pros. So let's get started. Number one, my first con is that when I go to sleep, and now this might be really trivial, this might be like not a big deal, but when I go to sleep, I sleep on my back. So when I wake up in the morning, a lot of times my locks are super duper flat. Like I have to do a lot of manipulating and a lot of fluffing in the back to get volume in the back, okay? So that is my first con. The next con is that as my hair is starting to mature, um, I'm noticing that my twist pattern is kind of starting to go away, but it is still apparent. Um, there are several ways to start DIY micro locks. There's the interlocking method. There is the braid locking method. There is the twist locking method. And there is the palm rolling method. Um, there is also a method where people use um, like a yarn needle to kind of lock their hair, which I don't know much about that. But anyway, I started my DIY micro locks with twist and then I braided my twist on the ends to prevent my twist from unraveling. If you can tell, my twist pattern is still kind of there. So I want you guys to see that. Like I said, it's not a major con because I really don't mind that I can still see my twist pattern, but I am eager to see what my hair is going to look like once it is fully locked. So that is a con. The next con, which is again, not a major con, I'm so okay with it, but as my hair is starting to lock, I'm noticing that I used to have hair that was like about down to here. And so the shrinkage is real. And I knew that it was going to happen, but I'm like, y'all, like my hair, and it's not even stretching out as long as it used to be, but I had some pretty decent length hair. And so the fact that I'm having to experience so much shrinkage and go through the whole phase of my hair, getting back to the length that it was before I started my DIY micro journey is kind of a con. Okay. All right. So that 
is, I believe, all of the cons that I have. Now let's move on to the pros. The first pro is the most liberating pro, I believe. It is the fact that I have hair freedom now. I don't have to worry about daily styling. I can get up in the morning, I can spritz my hair with uh, my mixture, and I can put a little bit of oil, shake it out, and go. I have added so much time to my day and my weeks that I just love it. Like I absolutely love how much hair freedom that I have now. The next pro is the versatility that I have with my hair. I can style my hair in multiple different styles. Um, even though I have been enjoying the freedom of not having to style my hair, like as I said, I don't have to, but when I do feel like styling my hair, um, I, I style my hair. I've styled my hair in Cuban twist for the New Year's and really enjoyed that, but quickly noticed after like week one and a half, I noticed that I was over it and I was ready to see my locks again. I was ready to feel my locks again. So that is a pro, having versatility with my hair. Another, another pro is that I don't need to use a lot of products when styling my hair. I, on a daily basis, I use two products. I use a product mixture that I created. And then I also use the Voice of Hair, Hair Elixir Oil. And it's a growth oil that um, stimulates hair growth. It is a multi-purpose oil. So you can use it for a lot of different things. Another personal pro for me is like I enjoy the growth that I'm seeing within myself and the confidence that I am um, just getting. I'm, I'm, I'm getting so much more confident with just who I am because I don't have to worry about, oh man, my hair. Oh no, no. Like I just don't have to worry about that. So I love that about my hair. My final pro is that I have joined a wonderful DIY micro locks community. I've met so many people online and we are just sharing our journeys back and forth. And I love to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up because the rain is ridiculous. It's like pouring down out there. And I'm not sure if you guys can hear that like a lot in my video. So thanks again for watching. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that, so hit that notification bell so that you are updated every time I post a new video. And for all of my returning people, I love y'all. And don't forget to wish me happy birthday in the comments below. Also, don't forget to share with me uh, what are your pros and cons? What are some of the things that you guys enjoy about your, your DIY micro locks? And what are some of the things that you're like, eh, about? All right. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. Mwah.